Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. There's Blacken hanging out in the shade. Absolutely a gorgeous day. And it's going to be a day of a little bit of changes around here. And first things first, this mess has got to go. And there's a reason. Well, I can't really expect anyone to dig through all of this now, can I? <laughs> all right. Well, I hope I don't find any dead rodents in there. Uh, that was five years in the making. But I got to make things easier for the people I'm going to go see. I don't know, maybe I'll make something out of that someday. And those of you that have a keen eye will notice something's missing right here, and that's my gas gauge that was always sitting right there. Battery monitor showing me what my state of charge was there. And same thing, used to have one sitting right there, and you can kind of see I've moved it, and I've moved this one as well. And I've got him got them sitting side by side in good shape, 100%, 99%, looking good. And I've got this security camera pointing right at those two. And like my good buddy Rick from the channel told me a long time ago, maybe I should get one of those Victron Serbo units for rem remote viewing. And I thought about it a long time and I was like, well, I don't think I'm ever gonna really need anything like that. And turns out I do. So I've manufactured this little uh, kind of thing, and you can see now I'll be able to on my tablet, which is right here, wherever I may be, I can look and see these values and know everything's in good shape. And if not, I can call my caretaker that'll be hanging out here taking care of the place and I can, you know, walk them through what might need to be changed in case I have to, you know, unplug this and put it on a backup system or something like that. So I'll keep an eye on how things are looking. So there's going to be my view right there. So we'll call this my uh, <laughs> kind of a servo unit here, right? <laughs> so yeah, as it turns out now, uh, I wish I would have uh, taken Rick's advice and a couple of other of you had mentioned maybe I should get one of those and I kind of wish I had one of those tied into the system right now but I'm gonna make do with this and of course this is where I'm most comfortable back in here in the jungle where I'm completely stocked up with everything that I could possibly need so you might be asking why why would you bug out for a minute so the reason is, is that darn melanoma, which I've talked about before, uh, is being relentless. And I have the opportunity to actually uh, be seen by some melanoma specialists. And uh, I've tinkered with that idea over the years and tried to do that before in the past. It didn't work out. It's going to work out this time. So that's why. So no matter how much we cut out, it just keeps coming back. Uh, with a vengeance and I'm gonna go see the people that will hopefully know what to do with a guy like me so that's the reason I did this so we, they can look real closely at everything and I'm not gonna be covered up because you know you get precious little time uh, when you're with doctors and specialists so I want to make the most of the time and I thought I'd make it easier so when I'm standing there in front of them they're not obstructed by any uh, you know, crazy hair coming off of me. So I want to get get looked over real good. I want to get the stuff on me that needs to come off, off and get it analyzed and figure out maybe what kind of mutation of this uh, type of skin cancer that I'm running because, yeah, I just can't seem to catch a break on that lately. So anyway, uh, I leave the place in very good hands. The best person I could ever think of is going to be hanging out here and making sure uh, the animals get fed and the place stays up and running. But I wanted that little servo unit so I could just like, if I see something, because they're not real familiar with solar, and if I see something, I'll say like, yeah, unplug that pink extension cord, plug it over across uh, 
on the other side of the wall to the backup system and let that one system that's down a little bit uh, catch up and then move them back. So anyway, that's the method to the madness. Oh, and I got some nice lemons coming on here. Nice. P, what are you up to? Hey, did I say you? Huh? <laughs> Uh, you guys. So yeah, 26 melanoma so far. I'm going over uh, and packing about, I don't know, half a dozen more to be looked at. And uh, hopefully be back here in just about five minutes and be under control. And I have to say, this feels, this feels pretty good. I haven't felt the uh, wind blowing on my neck for quite some time. So lost a little bit of weight today. So I'm going to try to fit in some solar stuff, but it's going to be a little disjointed for a little bit, you guys. So I'm going to keep you guys, uh, take you along for the ride and show you what I'm going to be up to. Um, yeah, so whirlwind tour coming up. And I've already made contact with a couple of people in the direction I'm heading that have some solar equipment. Maybe we'll throw in a guest appearance, a guest system along the way, but I really don't know. A lot of things are up in the air right now, so I'm just kind of winging it and going day to day and uh, trying to soak in the vibe of my jungle here because, uh, yeah, it's where I'm most comfortable and I don't even like being here for a, or leaving here for a supply run, but uh, this is needed to be, so going to take you along. All right, you guys and gals, that's all I've got for right now. Uh, I may be a little intermittent for a minute, but uh, I'm still out there and I will let you guys know what's going on and things will get back to normal shortly. Aloha. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, hard not to be a little nervous. It's not a grocery run I'm going on. <laughs>